doing a ruggable rug. And now I know what you're thinking, what the heck does that have to do with your channel about homesteading and farming and DIY? Well, I will tell you, nothing. It has absolutely nothing to do with our channel. However, I am working on some DIY videos coming soon about how we've transformed our kind of rustic traditional cabin in the woods that we purchased into a mid-century modern cabin. And as part of that, I purchased a ruggable rug. So I figured, I've been wanting to see a review on these. I haven't seen anyone do a review on the specific color and style of rug that I personally liked. So I'll fill that gap. Um, if you are interested in seeing those DIY how-to before and after makeover videos, transforming this into a mid-century modern home, um, please do hit the like and subscribe button. And those are coming in the coming weeks. You'll see some chicken coop makeover videos DIY first. But intermittently, we'll be having those mid-century modern videos as we're able to kind of purchase the paint and the decor and stuff that we like. So, without further ado, burr, burr, burr. <laughs> without further ado, my cat would like to say hello. <laughs> okay, that didn't work. Okay, there we go. Perfect. This is my ruggable review. I purchased the Cameron Hazel rug and I'll put the link in the description. I think I have a code where friends get 15% off and then I get 15% off if you use that link. I don't know if I can just put that in a YouTube video. It's not an affiliate link or anything like that, but I will link it in the description. So if you can get 15% off and you're going to buy one, then good luck to you. I hope it works. Okay. So the ruggable rug arrived in this package and the reason I wanted one of these, if you're not familiar with ruggable, is their whole thing is that their rugs are virtually indestructible. They don't say those words exactly, so don't sue me ruggable if you're watching this. But the idea is that you can pull them up and you can throw them in your washer and run them on a machine washable cycle, throw them in the dryer on a low heat, or hang, to, hang them to dry. Double check the directions on that. As you can tell, I have not had one of these before. And then you can just roll it back out. They have a ruggable pad, and then you can get changeable tops, like changeable rug covers, so you can change up your decor whenever. And it's less expensive as you buy more because you don't have to keep purchasing the pad. So our house, we have a lot of high traffic activity in our house. We live and work on a farm. We have a livestock guardian dog. He's an Anatolian Shepherd. He's three years old now, I believe. Three years old, so that's still puppy age for him. And he weighs about 110 pounds or so. He's huge. On top of that, we have Lulu. Come say hi, Lou. Annie Lou, she is our 14-year-old German Shepherd Border Collie mix, I think. She was a rescue. And she's been with me since high school. And now that she's getting older, she seems to get messier. <laughs> So fur is everywhere all the time in our house. We also have two domestic short hair cats that we rescued. And we have a big family that loves to visit with kids under the age of 10 and um, you know elderly grandparents and things of that sort. And top of that, we are dog and animal people. So our whole family, everyone has their own dogs and everyone brings their dogs over when they come to visit and we absolutely love it. Sorry, Lou, I just smacked you in the face. And we absolutely love it. But what that means is we always have a bunch of small dogs from our family members. We have big dogs, they have small dogs. And the small dogs all like to pee on the rug and compete for territory. Every rug I've had, this has happened. So what I'm gonna do is get one of these ruggable rugs and see if it lasts. We're gonna put it to the test, and see if it can last all of that on top of how messy I am as a person. If you've seen any of my DIY videos, I'm always covered in like chicken poop and feathers and dirt and paint, whatever else I'm working on, I'm always covered in it. So, let's open up this bad boy and see how it looks. So 
So it came with this instruction manual that tells you all about how to take care of the rug and how to set it up. They have an online tutorial, but right here it says, roll up the rug cover, design side in. Position the rug pad grippy side down. Align the rolled cover in the edge of the pad with a slight overhang, then unroll the rug cover and smooth out any wrinkles. Do not tuck corners. Okay, honestly, I don't know who actually reads the instructions. We'll see how this goes. By the way, I got a six by nine size rug. Previously, I had a 10 by eight in here, but I thought it was too big. The rug pad is out and it feels kind of like Velcro, but the side that touches our hardwood floors is more like a rubber. I definitely don't think this is going to slip around when we're moving across it, but also I think that'll protect our hardwoods, which I'm happy about because I wouldn't want this scratching up the hardwood. All right, so here is my Cameron Hazel Ruggable Rug. I have to be honest, online the colors look darker. It's a little more worn and a little lighter in the colors here, but I love it. I'm actually really glad it wasn't the exact color my computer screen showed. I'm gonna try to get close up on some of these colors for anyone who's considering getting this pattern. Oh, puppy's testing it. Kaiju, do you like the rug? <laughs> he's, he's walking around it. What is this new thing in my house? Don't let him fool you. He'll be rolling all over this in a few minutes. I was going for kind of a mid-century modern. This rug is part of their farmhouse collection, but I liked it because it looks similar to a more traditional Persian rug. And the colors have a lot of honeys, kind of a honey, I don't wanna say gold, but it's kind of a gold. It's not super pigmented. And there's little splotches of coral or red. This is the center of the rug. It really brightened this space up. I love this. Oh, and here comes the really heavy coffee table we have. It fits like right on the little cross pattern. <laughs> oh, awesome. And it's made out of um, a river oak that a guy here local in Arkansas carved by hand. And we happened to find it in a thrift store. <laughs> Don't know how it made its way there, but the moment we saw it, we fell in love with it. It's massive. So it was carved in 2013. These are the guy's initials, WJK. Boonville, Arkansas. Or as the locals call it, Boonville. Doggy, Texas. Doggy, Texas. Is it doggy approved, Kaiju? Do you approve? I think he likes it. So far, 10 out of 10. The animals really like it. It is cat and dog tested and approved. Looks great with our furniture color scheme. Feels like it can stand up to a lot of wear and tear, but I guess we don't really know until we wash it or we have an accident on it. Maybe I will do an update after Christmas this year when it's taken a beating from all of the family members and dogs. <laughs> 